Hi Scrappy friends, welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me today. If you don't know, we have another round of the telephone hop game and I am scrap lifting Miranda. So the telephone hop game is um, a YouTube hop series that we have been going around about seven rounds, but it's based off of the telephone game that you play while you're in elementary school where someone whispers something in one person's ear and then tells the other person and it goes around. So um, my group is the Scrappy Shenanigans. Again, I think I was in that round, that group last time. And like I said, Miranda went right before me. So she sent me her layout and I am going to do my best to scrap lift this, but in my own style, because if you know me, you know that I have to do things my own way, <laughs> but I really do like to pay homage to the fact that I am using someone else's. But what's really fun is to just see the progression that each group goes through from the first person who starts off to because the first person who starts off is either using original layout or something that they were inspired by. So it is really fun. So there was a strip up at the top that had like a rainbow color and I am going to use these squares that I um, cut off. So they are about an inch and it is based off of the um, Dear Lizzie paper that had all those little squares and like an ombre, but I just use one. And so now I put them all down and I just use my sewing machine. So these are not glued down in any way. The only thing that's holding them is the the stitching. So that is going to be my little stripe up at the top. <clears throat> I decided not to go for like a rainbow color, but I am going to do mixed media because Miranda did mixed media. And this mixed media did not turn out the way I thought it was going to. And I guess that's okay because this is how it is when you do mixed media. <laughs> you really are at the mercy of whatever it decides to do in the end. So you either have to go with it or not. So I used clear gesso because I wanted to keep that um, green paper, most of it showing as much as possible. If I'd used white, it would have toned it down and it wouldn't have been a bad thing. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna use different versions of like a blue color or a kind of tealy color. So these are all shimmers products. So I only use shimmers. I Let's see, I think I used, let's remember, I think I used Lapis Dance. That might be what that one is. No, maybe. I also used either Rip the Tide and there was another one that I used. Um, Boogie blue, board blue, maybe? I don't know, or peacock plume, I don't know. So that one was Rip the Tide, I think, that I used. Or, so, um, yeah. So anyway, I'm just putting this in, I'm gonna use just water, and I'm hoping that it will just kind of come down and drip in the middle because Miranda had a whole bunch of stuff. I'm not really sure exactly how she did her background. I don't know if she just put stuff in the middle and let it kind of drip around or what, but I'm hoping that this will drip. But I did not take into consideration the fact that because I only added just like I added gesso to the whole layout, but because I didn't glue it down all the way, there's not gesso on the other side. So this paint really stuck in. Um, so let's see. And then I am gonna use some gold. I think I use good as gold. And then this is egg noggin. So I'm just kind of, I'm just adding the gold. I'm adding the blues. <laughs> 
and like tealy colors. And I'm hoping that it's going to drip down. And it was not. It was sitting on those papers a lot. So I really probably should have used a thicker gesso because the clear gesso is not super thick. I will say that. And I didn't put a lot on. So this is like it's dripping. I need to add more to the back. And I am going to start adding some other stuff too. This is Jenny B. Blue. It is a really pretty blue. And so now I'm just going to add some drops. I'm going to add it to the squares and hope that it kind of rolls out. Um, I'm going to spray some more of the eggnog in because that is a super beautiful gold color. This is one of my favorite colors. I actually probably need to get more soon because I'm getting low. But, um... And then I'm gonna add some purples too. So Plum Crazy, what else did I use? Paradise Punch, I think, was another color that I used. So I still felt like it needed a little bit more drops because it just did not have enough. And I mean, I know I'm going to be adding one more mixed media. I spent a lot of time doing this mixed media. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, guys. <laughs> this is very mixed media intensive. I kind of feel bad for Rachel because she is after me and she is going to be like, wow, this is a lot. And of course, I did not realize, guys, my cat jumped up on here. I know you can't really see what she's doing, but she is in. I kept this in here because I thought this was hilarious because I went to go do something. She is sticking her paw in my water. So I will, this is a little snidbit of a thing. Shimmers is non-toxic. So thankfully my cat who is helping herself to my pretty water, well, she didn't get sick. But this is all to say that you can be safe and know that if your kids get something in their mouth or your animals, who are probably your kids too, get it in their mouth, they will be okay. Um, she likes to stick her paw in water and she likes it. She is very sophisticated little cat. So she will stick her paw in there and she will lick from her paw. She doesn't like drink right into the water ever. I've never seen her do that. She always sticks her paw in there and then drinks it. So... But I just had to keep that in there because I thought it was funny because I went up to go do something and I just kept my thing running. And I and then when I'm editing this, I see this and my cat, she totally was just helping herself to my water. So now I know I can't leave my water lying around. Um, and I usually don't for very long, but you know, at a time like this. So like I said, I used some Paradise, Paradise Punch and uh, Plum Crazy. I'm not sure which one of these is. It might be Paradise Punch because that one is a little bit lighter. And both of these are Inklings Creamies. So you do have to add some water to it. And um, this one is much darker. And I really, I really love the way that it looks, especially when it like blends in. Uh, I really do like this. It needs more for sure. So... I knew I wanted to use some of this gold carrots, uh, the new Dazzlers foils. Um, and I thought, hey, these leaves would be really fun because I already knew I was doing pictures of stuff from my garden. So I'm just going to kind of get this just in this one area. I could have put it, you know, more off to the side and everything as far as like had it go all the way up and down, but I really didn't want that. I just wanted it in a little bit. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit of this over on the top and the bottom, just so, just to have a couple of other areas. I wasn't sure exactly how I was going to um, do, like exactly where I wanted my photo. I was pretty sure that I was gonna have it that square, those squares be on the side instead of up at the top. So I am rotating it. So, oh, I didn't realize that this is backwards. <laughs> so you see a little bit more of that. That is helotrope on the helotrope or something like that. So here we go, it dries. So three different colors of purple. 
because there is some purple in my photo. I will say that. So I knew that going in that I needed some purple because I had a little bit of purple in the photo because that picture is of some herbs. And one of the herbs that is in that jar is oregano. And oregano, if you didn't know, when it gets overgrown, it has really pretty purple flowers, <laughs> kind of like mint. And I believe oregano and basil are in the same family as mint. So they do have flowers. Uh, this one was really hard to see where the line was. So I'm going to cut it. And then I realized it was a little bit smaller than what the other photo is, but that's okay. I think Miranda like overlapped her photos a little bit and I didn't want to overlap them as much. I am going to overlap them a little bit. <clears throat> like I said, this layout is extremely long. So if you like long videos this is your video if you don't you are more than welcome to speed this up <laughs> uh, i just really wanted to make sure that i got this process because i struggled with this guys and it is quite interesting because i am not one to i shouldn't say i'm not one to struggle i've been struggling a lot more lately and i think it's because I, for a while i was creating like a ton and then now I kind of hit that like, ooh, I created a lot. And so just finding like this rhythm and then knowing that school starting. But anyway, but school will have been started by the time you guys see this. So definitely go in the info box below and look at the list of all of the ladies and scrapbookers who are playing along in my route, in my group. So there are multiple groups, so definitely like look around, you can use a hashtag telephone um, game YouTube hop and you should be able to find a lot of the ladies. So I will have the list of the ladies ahead of me. I know that there's two other people below me. So there's Rachel is next. So she'll have hers tomorrow. So definitely use the link for hers tomorrow. I had tried to use that for another photo and didn't use it. And so I'm just going to cut this a little bit and get some layers. And Miranda did have some layers. Thank you, Miranda. <laughs> I, I so wanted to use this because that image is like the waterfall image, which would have been perfect because I'm documenting my stuff that grew from my garden. So also in that photo on my windowsill is some tomatoes that came from my garden. And I like to set them on the windowsill because some light comes in and then it just finishes getting them ready and nice and yummy. So that lined paper is from Stampin' Up. The other ones are, I think, from Cocoa Vanilla. So one other thing in the original or in the layout that Miranda gave me, she had lots of frames and they were really cool and she made shaker pockets. I was not going to do that. Um, she made shakers with hers. It was super fun. Um, so I knew I wanted to keep the frame element, but do it differently. And so I think this is partly where I struggled um, and she had hers, hers were more rectangle. And so she had hers like really fun. It was really fun. They really were basically layers. And so that's kind of what I'm doing, but I only have, I have four, but I put the one on the photo because I really felt like it looked really cool with my zucchini in there. And let me tell you guys that zucchini legit, it was like way bigger than my hand. I had another photo that I thought about using that showed my hand, but I knew because of where I was placing everything, it wasn't going to work for this. So I'll have to put that in my project life so everyone can see. Like that zucchini was huge. And I had another zucchini before that one that was also huge. So one thing that Miranda had on hers, on that, she had the stripe, on the, on the top and then she had another thin piece of pattern paper so I'm gonna kind of mimic that but opposite <laughs> um, and do part of this pattern paper this is also from Stampin' Up and have that just lay there and I thought about add using the whole paper but I really like that line paper and I think that's the only one I have left so 
I'm just going to put it on the edge. Now, I did not measure this, so I do not know if it's 12 by 12 now or if it's a little bit larger because it may be. But that's okay. Um, and I actually thought about putting it on another piece of pattern paper just to help make it sturdy because here's the one thing that when you do so much mixing media, even though I added a, a fair amount of gesso, I use a ton of water and liquids. And so it's gonna warp and it'll be fine once it sits in my stash or in my layouts before I put them in. And even once it go, gets in the album, it will, it will lay flatter. So it won't really be that big of a deal. But, you know, it is difficult when you have to photograph it. Not that that matters to you guys. So I am playing with some Vicky Booten flowers. I have some Cocoa Vanilla flowers. Uh, gosh, I have some Vicky Booten flower things. And so I'm kind of just playing around with where I want things because Miranda had butterflies on one side of her layout. And so I wanted to use that, but I wasn't wanting to do butterflies, which is fine because that's the fun part of these layouts is using something that one person uses and making it adapt it to what you need it to be. And I thought flowers or leafy things would work really well. So I thought, hey, I will use my silhouette and cut off. That's what these purple elements, that is also cocoa vanilla flower paper or paper. And I thought, hey, I'll cut these out. I'll use my silhouette. I haven't used my silhouette since I moved, but wouldn't you know, I couldn't find a new mat. So I'm pretty sure I have one somewhere laying around, somewhere, somewhere in my room. I'm not really sure where. So I only had an old one and I tried to use some Stampin' Up paper too. And I don't know if it was a Stampin' Up paper because it's slicker. It was, that wasn't cutting out. So the only thing that cut out and I tried it twice and then I was done with it. Like, I don't know, I don't know how you guys are, but when you guys use your silhouette or a machine, if it's not working, how many times do you do it and ruin paper? Like, I wasn't, so I got two, and I was like, okay, this will work. This, I'll just make this work. I also f found this word magic from Schmel, and I thought that looked really pretty. I did put this cluster on, or my paper cluster, layer thing on pop dots because I know I have the uh, frames there and everything. So I'm just moving stuff around. I'm going to take some stuff off and move it back around. It is starting to come to where I want it to be, <laughs> but it took forever. I moved stuff around so much and I actually took some of me moving stuff around out because it was, it's just crazy. And this is just how I think, I felt like I needed to show this and I know a lot of us say this to everyone, but like this is part of the process sometimes is just not knowing exactly where you want everything. And even though I was following Miranda's layout and really, in all reality, if I was really following, I should have just put everything to the the bottom, like along across the bottom, because that's if I because I rotated it, that's where it should have been. But but I had those gold stencils pieces, and I was thinking, well, maybe if I put stuff up up along that way, that would work really well. And I was hesitant to just put everything on that the green squared place because I have, you'll have seen it by now, but I had just did a layout a couple of weeks ago where I did that same thing and I was like kind of worried about doing the same thing. And so like sometimes you kind of get in your head about like you just got to move these things around and you got to see what works and then eventually you just got to go, okay, Hannah, put your get big girl panties on. 
Make a decision. Just decide. Let's just, just add some glue. Just put it down. You know, so really what I'm doing is I'm picking some places along where these <laughs> frames are and I'm going to build some cl clusters around these frames and I'm going to use that as where I want my cluster p places to go so that, um, you know, I have some areas and it feels like everything is kind of floaty, but I have, you know, have a place. So I end up using this little frond. So I do add multiple gold pieces and metallic pieces. Some of those frames have metallics on them. And I feel good about that, about like having multiple metallic things on there. I really feel like it helps tie everything. So this is me looking at things and going, okay, I like where this is going. I need a few more things. So this is where I, I decide, ooh, I really like that there. I like that. I can use that as my title. I pull out these gold thicker or these gold alphas from Pink Paisley. I'm going to write wild, then put gold wild, uh, grow wild. That's going to be my title. We're just going with it, right? Because this is how Hannah works. <laughs> uh, so I know I made this layout way different and it'll be really interesting. I'm so interested to see what Rachel does with it, what elements she decides to keep. And it'll be interesting to see what Miranda had first. Did she not have mixed media? Did she cut? I know she likes to do mixed media often, which is so my jam. So it really did work. It you know, it just did not do what I wanted it to do because it wasn't like what hers was. And that's how it works, guys. You can try to emulate something that someone else did. I remember quite a few rounds ago, Megan had my, like she was right after me and I had taken leaves and I pressed them and used like that as my stencil, like I put spray on them and then I put, put them on the layout and use that as my background. And I knew that she was going to have a hard time emulating that just because it was something so specific and something that you, it's really hard to get the same thing over twice. And I feel like mixed media can very well be like that if you're doing something a little bit different. And I don't generally just put media on my layout in a big, Splat, like splat, like I like to do certain things, and that's why I added the splatters because I was like, you know what, this makes it me. Miranda has some splatters, and this is gonna help. And so now that I've just been talking for a few minutes, uh, I cut all these leaves from these cocoa vanilla flowers. Gosh, I'm gonna have no flowers with leaves. I think I've used almost all of my flowers. I had a but ton load of them. So I don't feel bad, but I really liked the petals because they had the blue and the purple, and this is tying the blues and the purples together, right? And I'm just putting them on pop dots and just laying them around. I really love how this looked. I love how it turned out. I added some other flowers. I think those were Pink Fresh Studio. And so here we go. We're just cutting more flower, more petals. I'm gonna add that piece right there. Um, I thought about using some of the other darker ones, but I just didn't think that they ended up working. I liked the lighter color. So I'm trying to figure out how to put these so that they kind of go with how the stencil is. So that was a little difficult because the stencil was not going in the same direction in both places. If I had thought about that ahead of time, I would have done them going the same way, but I didn't. And that's how it is. And that's fine. I mean, it makes it unique. I add this other little piece that had some yellow and greens in it, which ties in a little bit more green because I will say, except for my photo and that one side, there's not really a lot of green. It's that teal color. And oh gosh, guys, I really love how this turned out. <laughs> it's super crazy. <laughs> it had a lot of stuff. It was way over the top. Like even for me, I feel like it was over the top. But sometimes you just have to do it and have fun. And in the end, I had a lot of fun and I really like how it turned out. But it was definitely a process in which I had to be like, okay, 
because I knew I was overthinking it because I, you know, it's like, and this is the thing about the telephone hop is sometimes layouts come really quick. The last layout that I did and I did Sandy, it came like super quick. It was like, boom, boom, boom. Like everything came together. And this one, I had to sit for it for a while and it didn't help that I had to wait for everything to dry and all that stuff too. But so to finish this off, I am going to add some enamel dots in similar colors. Um, like I said, Miranda had sequins on hers and I did not add sequins. I thought about it, but at this point I'm like almost done and I'm getting excited to wrap it up. And I had these there and I really like how that looks. It kind of ties in and almost looks a little bit like the splatters itself. I do end up deciding to add this bloom. I wasn't sure, but it's a, one more pop of green. So that was actually, I used my own handwriting <laughs> to make that and um, and silhouette. And so it says magic bloom and then grow wild, but grow wild is the real title. So definitely check out the link below for tomorrow because Rachel is scrap lifting me. And if you haven't watched everyone else before me, make sure you do that. Thank you guys for sticking around for the whole 26 minutes. I know it was super long, but hopefully it was worth it. I really liked how this turned out. It was really crazy and I didn't know where I was going, but I got there and it'll be really fun to see how, how it changes because there's two more people after me. So I will see you guys later. Have a great scruffy week. Bye.